Speedway Worldwide Wrestling against Pete Stan along with Jim Fournette. How can Pete Stan function now without beautiful Bobby in his corner? Well, as long as he's got Fournette in his corner, I guess he thinks he's going to be in pretty good shape. But the thing I'm asking you, what about that hunk of bad breath? Hampton. Oh, my. He's got four or five people here in the front row that still can't get up. Well, I didn't want to get anywhere near him because with that cowbell and that big rope, you never know what he's going to do with it. Swing it at someone, and I didn't want to be the first one to meet it. How would you like to be going down a dark alley? Uh, for that matter, how would you like to be in a supermarket, broad daylight, in the produce section, and have a guy like that walk up to you? I wouldn't want him anywhere near me, and he has sent certainly a warning to everyone, all of the top stars in the NWA. Well, what if, I like. If they didn't have enough to contend with already. I tell you, he's a big guy. He's a big, mean, nasty guy. They say when you don't eat, you get hungry. Obviously, he's hungry. Although it doesn't look like he has been eaten. He was certainly chewing off from the back. I mean, it was the back of you flying everywhere. But as Van Hansen will tell you, the lariat will be more flying than just at the back of you. So it's going to be a lot of, as he said, heads rolling in the NWA. So now well, here's a nice head that he can get in the NWA. This pretty boy Pillman. That's one of your favorites, isn't it, Sonny? Well, I think I echo the feelings of all the fans. Yes, he is, and why not? Flying by, what a successful tenure. He's in the NWA, and it's because he's not only a great flyer, Ole Anderson, but that backhand shot had a lot behind it that time. You saw it. And now he's got all his all he could do right now worrying about uh, Stan Lane. Over the top, Stan Great. Now, great counter move that time by Flying Brian. Stan now, caught it on the far side, didn't like that at all. Stan can bring that up, pull the tight. Now, what is this meant to do? We know he didn't pull the tight. What are you talking about? It's obvious he didn't pull the tight. That was a great hip toss. You've seen great hip tosses before. He didn't pull the tight. What well, he, he, he might have touched those tights just a little bit. He might have touched... Lane's got a legitimate complaint there. Let me ask you this. If you got a chance to get ahead by saying something, you gonna do it or not? Yeah, maybe not you, Shivani. But that's because you're not quite uh, versed in the real world. If you can get an inch ahead by claiming that those tights were pulled, well, then those tights might have been pulled. Take a look at it, ref. Let's see. Well, that's one school of thinking. Uh, flying by with a great counter move, gets right up. And now, finds a hammerlock right to Pete Stan. It tries to get up, and both men are up to square one now. Now, one thing we're seeing is a good wrestling match, aren't we? Yeah, we certainly are. And we knew we would with these two caliber athletes. Pete Stan with a great elbow to get out of that. Boy, he just really powered his way out of that time with a great high-impact maneuver. Over the top. Ryan is down and picks him up out of the rope. Flying Brian, and right now, though, he's allowing Stan to stay on the mat. Didn't follow it up with anything at all that time, Ole. It turned his back to Jim Cornette, which he has to be aware of. Now, wait a second here. We're seeing pulling the tights once again. I think he did. I think I saw him. I think I saw him grab those tights. You know, you miss a lot of stuff, Giovanni. I don't wear glasses. So. You think maybe you should sometimes? Possibly? This is suggesting you. Watch out. Let's get him in. What happened there? I just missed. Tell me a minute ago, they were busy cheering Pillman. What's wrong with those people? I was talking about now glasses, and now you're talking about the hearing's going now. They were not cheering Cornet. They were staying on Jim Cornet. As a matter of fact, Cornet didn't want to listen to it. And now with a top wrist lock, right down to an arm bar. The we top said. wrist lock. I like it. Good wrestling move. Hang on to your man. You know, pick one part. Like the arm, like Lane is doing. And eventually, even the biggest man is going to fall. You'll have to come. I will be talking to members of the Four Horsemen. Barry Wendell, Barn Anderson, Sid Dixon. Well, people ask me all over the country, wherever I go, what about those horsemen? Who is your last guy going to be? They couldn't believe it when Arm came back. They couldn't believe it. Yeah. Oh! Woo-hoo! Yeah, the camera party. And caught it blatantly that time. Took the edge of a racket, the butt of that handle, and jabbed it into his foot. Backhands by McEnroe, didn't it? Yeah, it looked great. But, but there's no way that you can condone something like that, Ole Anderson. Not a well, four. I think it just shows that Cornette's good at playing tennis as well as managing wrestling. I like it. Right now, head first right to the pole. And down now, right on the floor. No time to be sleeping. Tillman should be getting up and getting that ring. He 
referee's liable to lose the match on the outside like that. And if the referee keeps on counting, he will lose that match. Well, for goodness sake, a rocket to the throat, a head of the ring post, the steel post. Funny how you see things different. And we both saw that. Tillman now back in. And watch out, Stan! With a kick right to the midsection. And now he's really going to kick it. You can better believe in high gear. Using now the throat. And this is a tactic we've seen so many times pulling down on the throat on the top rope. Well, it's a good... Oh, I love it. I love it. A good wrestling move. Coupled with an even better wrestling move. You know, i got to admit, even though the racket to the throat, the post to the head didn't help, those were a couple of great moves by Sweet Stan coming back into the ring. And he is really in high gear right now. Watch out! Nobody home! And Brian Bryan just kind of rolled out of the way. He's still dazed, though, as you can see. He's putting back up. Brian Bryan will not stay down as he chops Sweet Stan to the chest. And now basically toe-to-toe -to -toe in the corner on the other side. And then Stan finds himself upside down on the turnbuckle. Sweet Stan in trouble. Brian Bryan. Yep, there. High back drop. And now Ole, he's going for a high-risk maneuver here. Brian better watch himself. Whoa. And a two count and stands out of it. It was close. Great move. Sam needs to take advantage. There you go. That's it. Grab that rope. Tillman got a little too overconfident, Giovanni. Flying neck breaker that time. Sending Brian Bryan down, and this could be it. Yeah. No fair. He's out. In a two count. Awful lucky, Giovanni. No fair. That is great reserve, Ole Anderson. You know that. Uh, He's taking a heck of a beating on the outside and on the inside, and Sam keeps the pressure up. Now, I think the referee had a slow count on that one. Sam, all of his force coming off of the far side rope. He's out again. Yes, sir. A pickup now. Sweet Sam trying to end this match right here. What's Quanta doing for goodness sake? Why in the world would he be out there? He's trying to explain something to that referee. And a slip shot slip. What? No. He got it. Talk about a quick count. Take a look at that one, Giovanni. First of all, you got everything backwards as usual. The referee hit Coronet. The racket fell out of his hand. Lane's trying to pick it up. And watch the referee on this, Giovanni. Look at this. Is that... Uh, even a slow motion is too fast. 